Welcome back to the Knee Pain Book Club. In this video, we'll be discussing chapters six through 11 of my colleague's book, The 90 Day Knee Arthritis Remedy. If you'd like to read along with me, it's available on Amazon in an ebook format. The title of chapter six is Three Sets of 10. In this chapter, Dr. Kelsey explains the origin of why so many therapists and trainers instruct people to perform an exercise 10 times and then rest and repeat this two more times. In a nutshell, performing an exercise for three sets of 10 can help be a helpful approach to strengthen muscles. But what if the source of your pain is not your muscles? What if the source of your pain is your knee joint? Your muscles may have become weaker because your knee hurts, or if you have swelling in your knee, your muscles may appear like they're weaker. But here's the thing, if you have knee joint pain, trying to strengthen your leg muscles can put too much pressure on your knee joint and cause your knee pain to worsen. And then the elevated pain makes it difficult to contract your muscles. And so rather than eliminating joint pain, this approach of strengthening the muscles first creates a frustrating cycle of persistent pain. I often have clients tell me that they went to physical therapy and their knees started feeling better when they did the exercises, lying on a table, squeezing their muscles, lifting their legs in various directions. But then they were told to stand up and do some exercises like wall squats or shallow step ups and step downs. And their knee pain came back sometimes with a vengeance. This is a pretty typical muscle first strengthening approach and it doesn't work when the joint is weak and painful. Muscles and joints and tendons, for that matter, can all get stronger, they, but they need different approaches of exercise to get stronger. And the reason why they need different types of exercise is because they're each getting different amounts of blood supply. Blood helps the tissues heal and grow stronger. Muscles get a lot of blood supply, tendons get about 16% of the blood supply that muscles get, and cartilage gets a negligible amount, if any. Now, when I talk to someone about strengthening, most people think of strengthening as doing an exercise that's challenging and repeating it, maybe eight, 10, or 12 times. And that is strengthening, but it's strengthening specifically for muscles. If you have a tendon that needs to be stronger, like that, the tendon is, is what ties the muscle to the bones, like the patellar tendon that you can feel if you press just below your kneecap. Strengthening exercises for the tendon will require less force than the ones to strengthen muscles because there isn't as much blood supply to repair and rebuild the tendon. And if the exercise doesn't require as much effort, then you need to perform the exercise many more times to achieve some fatigue. This is why strengthening for tendons falls into the range of hundreds of repetitions. In chapter 11, Dr. Kelsey describes what's best for tendons. He writes, moving the area in a controlled way is a component for healing for tendon. Now, if you're wanting to strengthen the joint surface, the cartilage, you need to be even gentler because it's getting little if any blood. The exercise used to make cartilage stronger, sturdier, and more resilient, those exercises are gonna require thousands of repetitions cumulatively. They're gonna look more like motion. And this gentle movement applies pressure to the cartilage and gradually toughens it up. As Dr. Kelsey points out in chapter 10, this process of toughening up the cartilage can take a really long time, many months, or in some cases, years. So now I invite you to think about what exercises you've been doing or have done in the past that actually caused you more knee pain. Exercises that might be strengthening your muscles but are putting too much force on your knee joint. And consider sharing these exercises in the comment section below. It might help someone else that's struggling with knee pain. All right, that's all I have for chapters six through 11. I look forward to seeing you next week to discuss chapters 12 through 18.